So, I have made it back out to my confidence lake. The past two times I went ice fishing, I got skunked again. And one of the spots that I went to is one of my go-to spots during the spring, summer, and fall for smallmouth. So I really thought I was gonna be able to hook into a fish there. Come to find out, I only caught a small little yellow perch all day long. And honestly, I'm just tired of going places and not catching fish. So I'm back at this spot here. Don't have too long to fish today, but I bought something that's gonna help me out. I finally went out and bought myself a battery powered auger. So much better than using the hand auger. And this auger here ran me $550. And I've only used this once before and it worked amazing. I could not believe that I was using a hand auger for all those years. Just because for the past few years when I go up to the Connecticut River to fish for pike, the ice has been up to 18, 20 inches thick up there. So drilling through 20 inches of ice with a hand auger was brutal, but not anymore. Like I said before, I've used this once before already and it just cut through the ice like butter. And honestly, that's why I decided to come out ice fishing today. I only have like two hours of daylight. And if I had my hand auger, it would take a good half an hour to drill out my holes and scoop them out. But with that battery powered auger, I'm telling you guys, it takes longer to scoop the hole out than it does actually to drill the holes. But enough talking, like I said, I don't have a lot of time, so I need to start drilling. All I have to say guys, if you're on the fence about getting a battery powered auger and you only have a hand auger, I would definitely go for it. You're not gonna regret it. That seriously took me maybe five minutes to drill all six of my holes. And like I said before, if I didn't have that battery powered auger, I'd still be drilling right now. And I might not have even have come out tonight. Now I'm gonna be fishing some large shiners today. Not jumbo or extra large or anything like that, just some large. To be honest with you, the past few times I've been out, I didn't catch anything other than a small little yellow perch. So I really wanna feel the tug of a good sized fish. And I have a super simple setup today as usual. I just have a small hook to its split shot with just a shiner on it. Super simple, nothing complicated. And that, my friends, is a fish already. This is why I call this place my confidence lake. As soon as I set this flag down, it's my first flag today too, there's a fish on here. Oh, that's some weight. No way. But honestly guys, that <laughs> that's literally why I call this place my confidence lake. Second flag of the day here. Something on it. Got him. I think it's a small pickerel. Oh, nice! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> the target species first fish today. There we go. It's just a little bass. And he just covered my camera. But look at that. It's a little bass, first fish today. That's awesome. Usually I come here and catch a bunch of pickerel with a few bass mixed in, but First fish of tonight is a bass, let's go. And the funny thing was, I was just about to set up one of my last tip ups and I'm like, wow, I've never actually been able to set up all my tip ups without catching a fish first. But, no, nope, just caught that bass. All right, and so for my sixth hole, I have five tip ups. In my sixth hole, I'm gonna be using a jaw jacker. And man, I love this thing. Super easy to set up. It's fun to fight the fish on a rod. 
It's also fun to handline the fishing too. I enjoy both, to be honest. Boom. Basically all set up. Just need my rod. And I'm also testing something else out too today. I'm not using my chest mount because when I realize I kind of bend over to catch fish at my ice hole, you guys have kind of a bad angle. So I'm hoping that when I use my headlamp, my headlamp, so I'm hoping with the head mount for my GoPro, it's kind of a little bit of a better angle for you guys. Got another flag here. Still haven't set up everything yet. He's swimming at me. Oh, no way. A crappie? Let me just get my shiner back because my shiner is definitely still alive. But look at that. It's a little crappie. My friend told me he's never caught a crappie here and this is one of his go-to lakes. Never caught a crappie here but I just did. Alright. Alright, got my first flag in, I don't know, six or seven minutes. Which is actually <laughs> kind of a long time. Got him. Oh no! But I also hope too that angle was a little bit better for you guys. With my chest mount, it really points like straight into the snow or my lap. Oh, as I'm talking, got another flag. Something's on. Got him. He did not like the hole. Where are you going? Ooh, big head shakes. Big head shakes. I think it's just a fighter though. Come on. The hole's right here. Come to your home. It's just a pickerel. I gotta be really gentle. Oh, it's a bass. It's a nice bass. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? I just saw the length on it and I was like, man, that's a pickerel. No, look at that. Definitely the biggest bass I've caught so far ice fishing. Look at that. Man. Look at this thing. That's got to be pushing two pounds right there. Got to be two pounds. Oh, let's go. I don't have my good camera with me. I just have my GoPro. My good camera is all the way at my stuff. But man, I hope that angle was good for you guys. Man, that fish was awesome. That is what I come out here for. Are you serious right now? I usually come out here and just catch pickerel after pickerel after pickerel. I mean, you guys know. You guys seen the videos I filmed here before. But no, bass, crappy, and then another bass. And a big bass, too. Let's go. I swear, I turned my back for one second. And a flag goes off. Let's jack him. Got him. Ooh, a little bit of weight. He's just coming right to the hole though, I don't understand. 
no fight in them. I gotta be careful here. Oh my god, guys. Bigger bass than before. Got him! Yeah, baby! Let's go! Let's go! That is why I come here. Let's go! Look at that bass. This is two pounds all day. Man. Let's go. Look at this beautiful bass. That is what I am talking about right here. That's why I come to this pond, to catch fish like this. Yeah, it's not a giant by any means. Probably just a two pounder or so. But man, is that fun. And I don't have that much time left today either. It was a really cool looking sunset. Guess I uh, don't need these anymore, but I can't take them off. I think I have a fish. Oh yeah, there's a fish on. Got him. Oh man. Oh, okay. There's just a perch sitting there swallowing my stuffs. Hmm. Got one. On my jaw jacker finally. But by the looks of it, it just looks like a small little perch. It's not even pulling any drag. Ah. Uh, it's a baby pick rope. Baby pickerel covered in worms. I think it's called ringworm anyway. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe not ringworm, but it's some sort of worm. Jeez, thank you. Now get out of here. Bastard. All right, I got a tiny fish on. Oh, nice, a bass. On the jaw, Jacker. So jaw Jacker is finally catching some fish. Hopefully my angle is pretty good. I can't really tell up there, but man, I'll take that though, second fish on the jaw jacker. Got another flag. This one I have a feeling is a perch. Or nothing.